so we're here at the CCA workbench and it is time for the Fish Bites Trading Post Rigs and Techniques. Dave? That's a lot to say, man. Yeah, man. Well, we're talking about sailfish and these are actually the most accessible accessible billfish in the state of Florida. Um, we can catch a few marlin sometimes, but most of the time, if you're gonna catch a billfish in Florida, it's gonna be a sailfish. And they run all up and down the East Coast, fairly close to shore in you know, 80 to 200 feet of water, sometimes a little deeper, sometimes even shallower than that. Down in the Keys, you can catch them in 40 feet of water sometimes. So, right. you know, they, a, a lot of different boats can catch, you can catch them off a flats boat, or, you know, they used to have a tournament where they'd catch them on inner tubes and whatnot. But, <laughs> you know, uh, there's different regions and you do different things. Down in the Keys, they use a lot of live baits, uh, run and gun type fishing or fishing with kites. Mm -hmm. Further up to Miami area, about from Miami up to West Palm, there's a lot of kite fishing. Again, live bait fishing with right. pilchards and goggle eyes, uh, fishing under kites, keeping, you know, the, what's so great about kite fishing for sailfish is it keeps all the leader out of the water. The only thing in the water is that little live bait paddling on the surface. And that is just irresistible to a lot of different fish, but sailfish especially. Um, South floor, I mean, from Fort Pierce to Stewart area, all the way up to Cape Canaveral where I live, we troll dead baits because the fish are more spread out. Uh, down south, they're usually in that 120 to 200 foot water uh, along the reef and you can drift along that reef area and be in the concentration of fish. Now up where I live, that between 120 feet and 200 feet of water is a long ways. So you got to troll to you know, cover that ground and find the fish. And once you find them, you can put some live baits out if you'd like. But usually we you know, keep trolling the dead baits, uh, mainly ballyhoo, three to four knots. Uh, with a circle hook, you know, and I, I mentioned before, it's very important to use uh, a circle hook, the Billfish 2 uh, L2004 Eagle Claw. This is a great hook for sailfish. Uh, the big O, guy, the big O guys, you know, caught over 4,000, went through 10,000 hooks and, and caught over 4,000 billfish. In on one this, year. In one year on this hook last year. That and, says a lot. Yeah, that's a great hook. You know, This it, is the same hook that they use the exact at Casa Vieja every, every day. Yep, 7 knot is, 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 the, is the one to go with. You catch, you know, you catch uh, little striped marlins and little blue marlins on that same hook as well. You know, it hooks right in the corner of their jaw. What's really great about it is, you know, sailfish is a jumping fish. Once you hook them, they start jumping around. Right. Just like a tarpon. And that circle hook gets in that corner of their jaw and it doesn't come out. You know, it stays in there real good and, and he can jump all he wants to and usually we're going to get him because that circle hook stays in the jaw. So what kind of rod do we want to use when we're <clears throat> dead bait trolling? Well, we're going to want to use a, a conventional reel with a lever drag. We don't want to use a star drag because we want to know where our drag is at. And you know, this little, that pin there, the Fathom 2, that high speed, uh, it's a 7 to 1. Uh, 59 inches of, of line per turn. Per turn. So what, what, what's that good for? Several things. You, if you're fishing from a kite and the bait comes out of the kite, you got 75 feet, 80 feet of line that's going to fall. You got a high speed retrieve. You can get all that line back on the reel really quick and come in contact with the fish. When you're trolling, that same high speed can get you, if you're trolling that bait and, he, and a, you got it, maybe that's your your short line mm -hmm. and the fish comes up on a teaser and uh, you can reel that bait up to the teaser really, really fast. Not only that, once you feed the fish and that's what's so good about the, the lever drag, once you dump it like that little squall there, it has a lever drag as well. Right. When you, when you dump that fish off and you put a lot of line in the water, you want to get that line back as fast as possible and come tight to the fish. Now, it, I said as fast as possible, the lever drag allows you to to ease up easily, you know, to get, put increase the drag, you know, at a very small increments at a time, so that when it does come tight, it pulls that bait out because the circle hook has to be swallowed and then come out real slow. And if you got that lever drag and you pull it, push it up slow and start to wind, the bait comes to the corner of the mouth and he's hooked. And you know, you put a you put it, snell it on a piece of 50 pound Berkeley Prospect chrome fluorocarbon, you know, you're using 30 pound or 20 pound even main line in Florida, you can get away with using 20 pound fishing in Florida. Don't get that big 30 to 50 pounds. 
you know, sometimes you'll get a 60 or 70 pounder. That's a monster in Florida. In both of these combination, whether it's the Alley 2 or the Squall Combo, mm -hmm. those are seven foot rods, Dave? Yeah, with the butt, and you need a nice slick butt so it comes out of the rod holder really quick. Nice soft tip so you can feel the bite really well because Sailfish can make you look foolish sometimes. Yeah, man, a lot of good information. <laughs> good job. Yeah, Dave, have you been practicing that for six months? You yes. can skip a beat over here. Correct. Wow.